Marge. Marge <laughs> asked me if I knew what I was playing. The answer is no. Um, but I've been thinking about it. Uh, I, the person that I hung out with right before coming here um, is uh, is Latina, and we were just having this conversation, and she was like, "Oh, well, that's the you know like that animal in the room. Which one is it?" And I was like, "The elephant." And she was like, "Well, yeah, but like in my culture, it's a horse." So really? Like, oh, I did not know that. That like the unexpected awkward animal in the room in a Latina culture is a horse, not an elephant. Um, I have never heard that. But I have no, I have no reason not to believe her, though. Yeah, I have no, no, like she wouldn't lie to me. Um, <laughs> but that did get me thinking, um, like which would make me more uncomfortable, like being in a room with a horse or an elephant. I actually think the horse. Like I think a horse could, um, like weight-wise, it couldn't inflict as much damage. But just in terms of temperament and speed, I think a horse would actually be much more dangerous. Um, so anyway. So that's why I'm doing a song about being an immigrant. <laughs> yeah. My parents came from a land of ice and snow and AK-47s. Settled down in Chicago in a four-room place in Rogers Park. Teacher said for Halloween, we could dress up like our favorite heroes. I was the only kid in the second grade who looked like Joseph Stalin at the end. <laughs> Teacher asked me why I didn't. I looked down and I admitted I'm an immigrant, so I didn't know. College, I tried flirting with an older girl named Julie Bennett. If you're going to use the most famous chord in rock and roll, like this one right here, what? don't bury it in the middle of your chorus. Okay. Like, give it a little room to breathe. Like this one, there is no better chord than no, this. There's no. I'm an immigrant, I didn't know. A boy is easily confused in a land that's filled with double V when W is what they say. still is, was back then, but still is. Um, thankfully, um, she no longer grabs onto your windpipe when she's cuddling you, because that was uh, like one year old else best surprise. Um, like, nothing she does surprises me. Like, if like she's going to be 11 this summer, if she gets a letter from Hogwarts, not a surprise. Like, that muggle witch has gone far. Um, so anyway, uh, this is... Uh, 
a song I wrote for my daughter when she was one. House Pets Veronica Named after nobody Nobody that you know Sits very quietly Shows you her pedigree Smiles when you need it most How could you not fall in love With a girl who's worth Wide-eyed and tight-eyed, sings at the coffee shop downtown. Sings very quietly, but if you listen carefully, you'll hear the beating of the sweetest heart. How could you not fall in love with a girl who's worth her weight in big blue eyes? Husband Veronica dreams of a house with me. With turrets and stained glass. Books in the library, smoke in the double chimney, bunnies in the backyard. How could you not fall in love with a girl who's worth her weight in big blue eyes? Elspeth Veronica, not one for subtlety. Grabs your esophagus and squeezes. <laughs> Loves unconditionally. Blames the economy. Curls up with Dostoevsky on my comfy chair. How could you not fall in love with a girl who's worth her weight in big blue eyes?